A highlight is the Royal Fisher Hotel, named after the anti-apartheid activist Bram Fisher. A stay at this five-star establishment is like walking through the pages of an epic biography, one which Dievald Skuman is especially proud of. Dievald, I can't believe that I'm actually standing in the very place where Bram Fisher grew up. Bram Fischer defended Nelson Mandela in the Ravonia trial and a lot of people believe that Nelson Mandela and his comrades would have gotten death sentence if it wasn't for Bram Fischer and his team of law experts that helped them during that period. So I believe Bram Fischer played a very key part in our country's history. He was an Afrikaner revolutionary. He wasn't scared to stand up to what he believed in and he later even got sentenced to life imprisonment for standing up against the apartheid government, which makes him such an icon. He's a legend indeed. What influence did his family have on his life? His family were such prominent figures in those days. I mean, his grandfather came here to Bloemfontein from Cape Town. He was a lawyer and he decided to buy this farm in the late 1800s. And a lot of the original features of this farmstead is still present today. You've got the old yellow wood floors, and then you've got, you know, if you look at the glass windows, it's, it's still a bit blurry. That's actually the, the, the type of windows that they put in in those days. Another interesting feature is the small stone walls around uh, what used to be the farmstead. It dates back to the early 1900s, where it served as a fortification against the enemy in the Boer War. Well, I'm excited to see what the rest of the house has to offer. Please. The owners did the decor themselves, and they've balanced the history of the house with vibrant modern fabrics and wallpaper that make the period pieces spring to life. Where did the idea come from to turn what used to be a home into a hotel? Well, the building itself used to be in a very bad condition before, uh, for many years. Uh, so the owners decided to buy the building and, you know, knowing about the history and the heritage of the place, utilize that and turn it into a luxury hotel. The Abraham Suite, with its outdoor bath, is named after grandfather to Bram, Abraham Fisher. Bram's mother's name is given to this room, one of just five suites in the hotel. It's decorated with subtle flair. A number of suites boast outdoor baths, and the appeal of taking a soak outside is doubled by being in the midst of the secure Woodland Hills Wildlife Estate. Giraffe roam freely along with sable, roan, kudu, hemsbok and many more majestic antelope. I'm sure the guests will experience a very luxurious stay, but what else can they expect? Well, because this is a wildlife security estate, guests have access to mountain biking trails, hiking trails, bird watching. We are the only hotel in Bloemfontein offering a high tea. That is why we've got a special guest coming over this afternoon. It was hometown hero and springbok, Opa Mahoje. After his part in the series win over France, injury finds him resting, but still working on his skills. Opa, have you had a high tea before? No, I've never done a high tea before. No, it's... This is actually quite amazing though, I'm not going to lie to you, it looks good. Well, everything goes, all you need to remember is that when you're picking up your cup and having your tea, the pinky finger needs to go up. Oh, uh, is it, is it, uh, is that the skill? Oh, okay, because I don't know, I'm used to, you know, just holding it, you know, and then just, <laughs> that's what I'm used to, I don't know, but yeah, no, this is stoked though, yeah, we can do it, man, we can do it. You're from Bloom, what is it about this place that makes it so special and why do you keep coming back? I think the most special things about Bloomfontein for me is the people, uh, you know, the, the people that bring the vibe, you know. I know a lot of the people in Bloom because I grew up here. My brother went to Grey and I went to Hot S. So, uh, you know, I know quite a, quite a few people here and, you know, um, made a lot of close friends. So definitely the people um, will make Bloemfontein, you know. <laughs> they run us in, run us in Coke <laughs> is what it's known for. But um, yeah, man, Bloom is an amazing place. As a sportsman, I know diet is really important. Are you even allowed to indulge in these lovely, tasty treats from time to time? Yeah, well, I guess you can if your body can afford it. Uh, you know, unfortunately, like some of us, our bodies can't afford this, you know, once in a while, yeah. But you get other sportsmen that can actually afford it. Um, you know, if you know that you're going to include it into your, your weekly schedule, um, then why not? Go ahead. But uh, yeah, just be careful that you don't <laughs> gain a few kilograms from this. You've had a lot of success with the Cheetahs as well as with the Springboks. I think I'm one of the lucky South African rugby players that uh, were fortunate enough to represent the Springboks. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can continue to play many, many more games for the Box. Where do you see yourself in the future? 
I'd like to leave the sport a better person. You know, um, they say sports teaches you a lot. I've learned a lot and I know that I, I've still got a lot more to learn. And then I'd like to say that I've got about seven or eight more years of rugby, you know, um, make the most of it while I can and uh, yeah, man, end off on a high. High T ran into early evening, discussing the return of Springbok veterans Rasi Erasmus and Brendan Fenter to SA Rugby Management. An exciting era dawns and the boys from Bloom will play their part.